Welcome to a challenge like no other. Today we're diving into the world of high-end fashion with a twist. Prepare yourself for the ultimate scavenger hunt as we unbox the latest masterpiece by Dior. But hold on tight, because this isn't your ordinary unboxing video. Oh no, my stylish kittens. This is an adventure through luxury. So if you're ready to test your fashion IQ, then join me as we kick off this Dior handbag unboxing scavenger hunt challenge. Here's how it works. Throughout the whole video, there will be clue integrations. Subtle. And if you guess them right, or if you see them, then I will go ahead and give you a shout out. Just comment down below. How will you know that it is a clue integration? Because it will have to do with you. Let the hunt begin. I gotta say, first and foremost, the box itself is absolutely flawless, stunning, beautiful, immaculate. I mean, just the white box with the texture, so stunning, so modern, contemporary, and then it has the Dior label in gold. Did you notice my nails? Because I finally had them done. <laughs> So here's the bag. Here is the second beauty in my collection. And I mean second beauty as in high end, super high end. My first one is uh, the Louis Vuitton. If you didn't see that one, I will go ahead and link it up here. So this is the one that I ended up getting. And of course it has to be black because I want it to go a long way. I don't have a collection. I want to be able to wear these bags with reckless abandon and not have to worry about it scuffing and getting dirty and things like that. So of course I'm gonna offer the bag for a black bag. This one is called the Medium Cest Dior Bag. Black cushion Dior embossed calf skin. So many celebrities have their hands on this. What famous actress was the face of Miss Dior perfume during the 2018 campaign? This bag comes in white i see it in a khaki color i see it in a beige and i see it in black honestly they're all beautiful i would have gotten any color but i was just like i said initially opting for something that i don't have to be super concerned about as far as like dirty it and things like that now this is a completely different type of like look compared to what i would normally get because i don't really get this type of like structure but here we are it's beautiful. It has the gold embossed chains going on around it, which I feel like it gives it a harder edge, which is something I really love. It has the distinguished brand logo name right in the front. And I feel like it's fitting because my boyfriend's name is Chris. I was going to say Christian. I don't know why. And mine is Daisy. So CD, I mean, it, it was meant to be. <laughs> it's more of an elegant and timeless type of bag. I don't know, it's still edgy enough for me to really love this bag and wanted to get it into my collection. It also has the labeling on the back here saying Christian Dior. And let me get rid of this so you can really see the bag for its beauty. This is the longest piece of paper ever. I like smaller handbags. I don't like them super big unless it's for work. But you can also use this as a crossbody bag, which I love. I feel like this type of bag for some reason, it's begging to be held this way. And so like a top handle. And so I think that's probably the way I will be sporting it. But I mean, if I'm like in Times Square around a lot of people and things like that, then I'll go ahead and use it as a crossbody because if some MF tries to to rob me, they have something else coming to them. Well, I can't get the New York Adam. This is an interesting bag because right on the top, when you open it, it has like an adjustable leather insert here. It doesn't really ever truly close. The chain is removable. And also the top handle chain is also removable. Dior is one of my favorite high-end brands. What year was the iconic house of Dior founded? 
Now, I don't know if I'm in love with this part here because like I said, there's no cover, it doesn't close. You can just kind of tighten it a little bit, but it doesn't seem to tighten any more than this from what I'm seeing at the moment. Just have to keep a, a, an eye on this, especially if you're in New York because I swear it's dangerous here. It's a bucket bag, so you know it will keep things secure in here. So it's not like things are just gonna fly out. The sizing is perfect for me because this is the type of bag that is perfect for your wallet, for your phone, car holders card holders, sunglasses, lipsticks, things like that. And that's pretty much what I would use this handbag for if I'm out and about on an everyday basis. And that's pretty much what I need. I mean, I might, depending where I go or how, how long I'm gonna be outside, I might throw in a toothbrush and a floss and maybe a small perfume and maybe my like toiletries, like girly stuff, one or two, and that's it and I'm good to go. And that's all I need in a bag like this. It's beautiful, it's a stylish bag, it's a durable bag, it's hard. And I know I could take a beating. Not that I'm gonna beat up the bag, but you wanna know that it's durable, you know what I mean? Some chain detail. What is the signature flower of the Dior brand? The stitching in here is all in black. It's beautiful. It's crafted very beautifully. I don't see anything out of place. It has the Christian Dior label on the back, which is just stunning. I think this is a really cool bag. All the colors are so beautiful. It's just really your preference and how it goes with your wardrobe and your environment. New York City is very dirty, so I would be scared to get lighter colors here. Have you spotted the logo? The pricing on this is $3,800. I purchased mine via the Dior website. Bags that have a structure like this, you want to be careful in order to preserve them for years down the line, not to overstuff them to the point where they lose their shaping. Take extra precaution when it comes to making sure that you avoid any type of extreme exposure to any of your handbags as far as heat, light, and moisture. Which iconic handbag was named after the British princess? And then in the event that your bag does actually get wet, don't go ahead and rub it, just blot it and make sure that it gets dry so that you won't scratch it. Always protect your bag from coming into contact with anything oily or alcohol-like, chemical substances, perfumes, things like that to help you preserve your bag. We just need a name for her. What should I name her? Go ahead and write all your answers down below in the comments section. I will go ahead and give you a shout out. Hit the thumbs up or thumbs down. Subscribe. Hit the notification for more fashion adventures.